site and we're just about to go in and some, collect some corals for our incubations and also for our metabolomics and genetic samples. Uh, we went to this reef earlier and it looked really great so we're excited to get back in and collect some more corals. Awesome, like to see really healthy um, placing corals on the top of the reef, which is really exciting. There's like a few patches that you know, look like they've seen maybe a bit of bleaching or you know, or a bit unhealthy, but overall, like really exciting. And we've got our coral samples, and we're gonna go up and process them now. So, yeah, really, really good dive. So, I've just unwrapped uh, temperature and depth logger. These two loggers have been installed on the reef since 2013. Ray Berkelman's put them out here the last time he was up this way. They've been recording depth and temperature for us for the last four years. So these, these loggers will give us an idea of how much temperature this reef saw during the 2016-2017 bleaching event. So we've got one from 19 meters at the bottom of the wall and one from nine meters halfway up. And we've just put two new ones out there to keep on logging. So we've got a continuous temperature series. And the problem with this model is that when they get full, they start to overwrite the data. So you could end up losing the, the first initial couple of years. And it's an excellent opportunity on the uh, flying fish and the GDR legacy to be able to get out here, change these loggers and put new ones in moving forward for the next 10 years.